Yeah, uh, if I can finish up this little Excel uh, uh, sheet now, um, we're trying to uh, compute the length of the sides and size of the angles for a triangle if we are given the coordinates of the three vertices of the triangle. We're almost done with this. And uh, a lot of what we have been doing has been trying to figure out how to accomplish uh, various tasks in formatting. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more of that. Um, let me uh, let me first uh, move my um, chart, my graphic here. I'm not sure it, uh, it's really a, such a chart anymore. It's just a drawing of the triangle. Uh, so I want to move it a little bit more up to the right. So I'm going to click on that there. Then I'm also going to click on uh, these two uh, text boxes. I hold down my shift, click on that. So I got everything, I'm clicking on everything here. And the reason why I do that is I want to move everything together, perhaps up and to the right like that. Um, there we go, just a little bit off to the right. And if I didn't select everything, then I would move the chart without moving the text or do something like that. Okay, now we're done with that. The other thing, I look over here. Well, first of all, this should be side, and it's, I say sign, and that's not right. But I don't think I have to say this at all. I have here length of sides. A is the length of the side. Let me just change this a little bit here. Let me just call this, uh, let me just take this out here. And I used uh, the formula for finding uh, the distance between two points to do these computations for the side squared. It's basically a Pythagorean theorem kind of uh, operation. Okay, now uh, now I want to put what uh, a. Now that I have a squared, b squared, c squared, let me just compute what a, b, and c are, and um, I'll do that right here. Let me uh, move this cell, make it a little bit smaller there, and I'll do that by clicking on that line and pulling in something like that. So there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to put uh, A equals. So I'll put A equals. And here I put B equals. B equals. Uh, well, no, boy, I got, uh, yeah, let me just take that out. Uh, I'll make this A, right? A, um, B equals, C equals, and then right in here, let me move this. I think I don't want to move this thing over, even a little bit more to the right here. So I'll click that, that, click, click. Now I'll move the whole thing there, even a little bit more to the right, just like that. Now remember, I actually have some computations being done underneath this this uh, this graphic, and uh, they're not even visible now. Anyone looking at this chart might not even realize that, that I had those computations under there. I made them invisible by making the text color be the same as the background color. Okay, now right in here what I want to do is actually compute what A, B, and C are. So I click on that and put equals, and then I want to do the square root. Yes, I think that's just SQRT, usually is, square root of uh, 18, close paren, equals, B is going, and now I think I can just take this and drag it down. B should be 2, right? And it is in 5.8. That looks about right. So here's A squared, B squared, C squared, which I did use a Pythagorean theorem kind of result for the distance formula to find the sides. And I took the screws to find A, B, and C. The, uh, the next step I want to do is I, knowing the lengths of the three sides, I can compute the angles by using 
the law of cosines. If you remember that, that's, uh, that's how I worked it out uh, with my uh, theoretical analysis. And um, uh, the law of cosines, uh, uh, so I'm going to use that. And um, so the law of cosines says, for example, that I want to compute angle C. I say that here the, uh, the little c squared, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Okay, so that tells me then, uh, that gives me a formula that I need uh, that I can solve for the cosine c. Then I'm going to take the inverse cosine of that to find the angle c. So let me down here, let me just write that formula for the law of cosines. Let me just merge these cells right now so we can write it out and so you can see it and make reference to it as, uh, as I'm trying to put the formulas in the cells up here that will actually do the computation. So I'm going to merge these cells. So I do format, cells, um, alignment, merge cells, OK. So for example, to find angle C, I want to use this formula right here. I want to say that um, C squared equals a squared plus b squared minus um, 2ab cosine and then angle C is an uppercase. Cosine, okay. So that means I want to find cosine C. <coughs> I take C squared minus A squared minus B squared and divide it by minus 2AB. So, that, and I'm going to you know, do a few steps in my head, which is probably going to lead us down the road to making a mistake. But, uh, Okay, let me just put that right here for now. If I end up not wanting it there, I can always move it. So I'm going to say, I'm going to find cosine C right here. So this will be, e, cosine C will equal, and I'll write, it's going to equal uh, A. Oh, I don't want to put A. I want to put what this is, A squared. or I could have written a times a, a squared plus b squared plus b is this, a squared plus b squared um, minus c squared And now um, I want to divide by uh, 2 times AB. So let me put in this in parentheses. Paren, and then paren here. Divide it by paren 2 times A times B. There we go. Hit return. Let's see what we get. Formula type contains an error. Well, that's the story of my life. Um, okay, right. I don't want C squared. Haha. <laughs> okay, so I want to do this instead of C squared. There. Now hit return. Oh, say, okay, so. This says it's negative 0.7071067. Um, let's see. Um, that would make sense. Let's see. Side A is the side between here and here. Side B, I believe, is the side between here and here. So this is C. So I think that might be right. Now, what I want to do is do the arc cosine of that number. So let me just click on this. Here's the formula up here. So... Now, let me just put, there, I click on that, 
and I want to tau type arc cosine. I actually don't remember if that's the Excel form or not, but I'll put it and see if I get an error there. It doesn't like that. Um, let me look for arc, the arc cosine function name. It doesn't like that. Okay, uh, go in my functions right here, more functions. Let's look at these functions. Um, I want to look at trig functions. It's not going to be under engineering, financial. Logical, lookup reference, math and trig, ACOS, that's what it is. Okay, so there. Okay, now this isn't quite right. Um, and the reason why uh, I said I wanted to find the angle in degrees, and the default uh, angle measure in Excel is radians. So I need to take this answer and I need to convert it to degrees. So to convert it to degrees, I have to multiply it by 180 divided by pi. So let me put that right here. Again, I'll put parentheses. I'll put 180 divided by, <coughs> let me write pi. I don't know if it substitutes value for pi in there or not. I should, but I don't. Uh, let's see what happens here. I'll probably get an error. Yep, I got an error. Name. Okay. Um, how do I get pi? Trig. See if there's something down here. It says pi for pi, right? And I have a lowercase i and not an uppercase i there. That's what the thing is. So i. There. Ah, it's still not right. Okay, 100 divided, it's still lowercase. Wait a minute. This is uppercase. Delete. Uppercase I. Now what? It still doesn't like it. Here, let me just write in, I'll look over that later, write in what pi is. Okay. 3.14159264. That's all I, all the decimal digits that I know pi to. 3.14159264. I used to know more. Um, and I memorized it because, uh, you know, when I, back in the day when I used to write computer programs, you had to remember pi to enough digits. Uh, uh, that, so it would be accurate to, <coughs> to the word length that the computer used. Now let me hit return. That's 135, deg <coughs> 135 degrees. And that looks like it's the correct angle right in here. Okay, so that was, um, so that's this angle right in here. Now we can use the same formula for the angles, so this is angle C, this is angle C, and we got by putting side C out here. The other formula that we need, and let me write that down here, uh, merge cells, format cells, merge cells, okay. Now I'll write this down. The other formula that we need, let's say if we want to compute uh, cosine A, for some reason that gives me cosine, uh, okay, so I write a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of A there 
cosine of a. And I'll write the other one down as long as I'm down here. And I want to say that b squared, b squared equals uh, a squared plus c squared minus 2ac uh, cosine b. There. I have the three versions. So let me just fix this. Uh, this one. I want this to be cosine c. There. It keeps going to that for some strange reason. Okay. Now, so this is angle C that I've just computed. Now, let me compute angle A and angle B. So angle B, um, I'm going to get by doing B squared plus C squared minus A squared divided by 2BC. Uh, that's why I like so. So this is equal to. Now let me pull this down a little bit. This is equal to b squared plus c squared. I don't want to do that. I want to write this. Well, actually, I already have b squared and c squared here, so I, why, let me just write, let me fix that. So this is equal to b squared, this is equal to b squared plus c squared b squared plus uh, c squared um, minus a squared minus a squared. I'm going to put parentheses around that. b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by, and now I'm going to do 2 times uh, BC is B times C get return okay now this is the cosine of A so now I want to go back up here I want to do arc cosine of that which is A cos A O C O S put parentheses around that, and then I want to multiply this by um, 180 divided by pi, try that like that, pi, and then multiply like that, get return. Okay, you know, it keeps, you know, so I get, it doesn't like that. Again, instead of giving me pi, it, it, it give me uppercase, it give me lower, so I just write it again. Divide it by 3.14, uh, 3.14, Maybe I should double check. 3.14159. There. 159. 14159265.4. Okay, hit return. Let me just check this one. Let me fix this one because 3.14159265.4. Okay. Now here I, I have d10 squared and all that. I have those things squared. Let me replace them by these things, since these are going to be more accurate. So, um, so, uh, so, I want to have uh, 
a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Okay, let me see a squared a squared is this. So let me take this out. Let me just take this whole thing out right here, right? Okay, now I'm going to put uh, a squared plus b squared, a squared plus b squared minus c squared. There, unless I made a mistake, I should get the same answer. Well, it says I did something wrong, isn't it? a squared plus b squared minus c squared. So say yes. Okay, 135 degrees. So I'm back to that. 135 degrees. This would be like 31 degrees. Now I have my uh, last formula, which goes in here. And um, this is going to be this one. So I want to be computing for cosine b. So I do a squared plus c squared minus b squared. So this is equal to a squared. Let me put it in paren. A squared plus b squared minus c squared, close paren. Uh, now I want to divide this by 2 times a times c. Um, 2 times a times c close that. Now I want to do arc cosine. So a cos, a cos, put paren around that whole thing, just like here. And then I want to multiply by 180 times, let me put this in paren, 180 uh, divided by 3.141592654, close, there. That's 104. Well, this one of these got to be wrong, right? I can't have two obtuse angles here in a triangle. So this is what I'm getting for, um, uh, 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 this should be AC cosine B. Let me just check to see if I've got this right. I have, because if this is 135 and this is 31, this should be like 20 something degrees. So something is wrong with this. Let, I think I just, just rewrite the whole thing, right? So let me just rewrite that whole thing rather than try to figure out what's wrong. Okay, so I want to put equal to, and now I'm going to put a squared plus c squared minus b squared. It's equal to a squared, let me put this in for a squared plus a squared plus c squared plus this minus b squared minus this a squared plus c squared minus b squared. Now I want to divide by 2 ac cosine b. So divide it by uh, 2 times a times c there. Then I want to do arc cosine. So I want to do, oh, come on, stop it, um, a cos, cos, like that, there's the r cosine, and now I want to take that, multiply by 180, um, so times 180 divided by 
six, five, four. There we go. Hit return. There, 14 degrees. Now, we'll do a check, okay? And we'll just sum up these three and see. Okay, there we go. I click on them all, and then I'll do auto sum, and it gives me 180 degrees. So, that's the right answer. These are the three angles. So, let me, uh, uh, now I'm going to take this whole thing here to here. I'm going to cut, paste it here, there, like that. Now I'm going to put um, A in degrees equals. Uh, maybe I maybe I won't just say in degrees. We'll assume a equals, and I'll put. Um, well, this was C actually, wasn't it? C, and then a. And then uh, B, and uh, let me, there's a space here. Let me just take that space out there. So these are the three angles. And then this is, I'll call this check sum. There, check sum. Okay, so this now should be our, uh, the solution to our problem is that given the three coordinates of the vertices, we can find the length of the sides here, and we have the angle in degrees. So let me put that as a heading right here. Uh, let me merge these two cells. Insert uh, format cells, merge cells, OK, and I'll put here angle in angle in degrees hit return and then I'll move that over to the center um, looking over here alignment spacing center just like that angle in degrees okay length of side so here's our answers this this and this are the sides ABC Angle in degrees, 135. Now, let's see. 135 is the big angle. Looks like this is the smallest angle. We're saying uh, that's 14-something, and this is the smallest side over here, which is 2-something. So all of this is agreeing with my sense of, um, of what should be what. Now, maybe just to make this look just a little bit nicer, let me take this whole thing here. I'll select this. I'll cut, and then I'll put it right here, there, there. So, now there I have length of sides, angle and degrees. So that's it. Now I can get rid of these things. Click here. Uh, click here, and now I'll just edit, clear all. That gets rid of those things. So I was just using that to help me along the way. So here we are. Here is our Excel program uh, that computes uh, the, the, uh, the, the associated values with a triangle. And this should work for any triangle. And uh, we could try some examples. Uh, I'll leave that to you. If I find a mistake, I'll make another video. Okay, so that's it. Now I'll put File. Save as, I'm going to save it. Okay. Triangle, there. So, save. Replace. There we go. Okay, till next time.